As you know, customers follow a process to engaging with your brand, and D365 Marketing gives you the tools to support customers through that process by sending them timely content and reminding them of your products and services and encouraging them to engage with you further and ultimately to buy your product or service. D365 refers to this as the customer journey, and so we want to walk you through the process to build out a very simple customer journey today. This is not a deep dive, this is just a high-level overview of the feature as it exists. There's lots more you can learn and dive into further, and we'd encourage you to do that or contact C5 Insight to help you along the way. So customer journeys is on the left-hand nav, and I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to say new because we want to create a brand new customer journey. And what you're presented with, as we see in lots of other parts of D365 marketing, is the ability to pick from a template. So templates are great because they come preloaded with the framework that is already there, and then we can just modify it. Of course, you could start by, skip, by skipping this down on the bottom right and build it straight from scratch. It's a really simple, straightforward builder. But for the case that we want to use today, we actually can use this announcement one. So the scenario we're going to follow as I click this is that we're going to send somebody an onboarding email that says, hey, welcome aboard. And whether or not they engage with that email is going to drive the process one way or the other. And so let me show you what that looks like. So first up, we need to assign the segment for this. So I'm going to go ahead and say set the audience. We're going to pick a segment and that's going to be our active customers. So we've already preset that that segment up earlier. And now as people are added to that segment and they fit the criteria for that segment and they get added to it, they're automatically going to get this customer journey as well. So that's a really handy feature because you don't have to add people manually over time or run a query at, you know, once a week or anything like that. It's just going to add them and the way this customer journey is going to go. So we've already added that in and you can see it's now going to start. And the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to send them that email. So I mentioned it's a welcome on board, uh, or welcome aboard rather. Welcome aboard email. So that's already been fleshed out and it's got a preview here. Now we modified one. It said happy birthday. This preview hasn't updated yet, but it is a welcome aboard email. And we're going to then tell the customer journey to assess whether they've engaged with that or not. So we were saying if it's clicked, so if they've clicked anywhere in that email, any of the links, then we're going to follow this path. And if they don't click that, we're going to go down the no path. So let's do the yes path first. So if they do click this, then we're going to wait seven days. And if they click it, that gives us some information that they're interested in our product. And we want to, we want to act on that interest and engagement. And we want to send them an invite to an upcoming conference that we are part of. And so we're saying, join us. And that's a different email that we've built out. And we're going to route that out to them so that they see that email about seven days after they've clicked the welcome aboard email. And so this is all about facilitating and supporting them through the journey, right? They see the email, they click it. And then while we're sort of still on their mind, we send them the follow up and they say, oh yeah, I remember I just opened that email or I just read that content on that. Now you can adjust this. You could say, you know what? Seven days is too long. I want to do three days or four days, whatever the case may be. I'm going to leave it like this for now. So for the yes path, that's all we want to do. We want to, if they click this email, wait some period of time, send them the join us email. We could of course add more and more steps here if we wanted, but for the purposes of this example, we're going to stop it right there. Now, if we weren't to do anything else with this process, it would stop regardless of how they engage. If they click, they'd get the join us email. That'd be the end. If they don't click, it would be the end. Nothing would happen. They wouldn't get any follow-up emails and that might be totally fine. But in our case, we want to um, engage with them a little bit further. And so we know that they clicked something initially to join that email list and they're now a customer and they're on our welcome aboard list. And if they didn't click that, we want to maybe get them something else that might catch their attention. And so I'm going to go ahead and say, if they don't click the email, I'm going to say, wait for, and the little fly out on the right is going to give us the ability to change this. So I'm going to say, wait for four days. And then we're going to send them another email and we're going to call that one the get to know us email. And so that's a different email that we have queued up. So now we're really starting to define and customize the process based on how they engage with us. If they do click the email, they go this path. If they don't click the email, they're going to get a totally different email at a totally different interval because we want them to get to know us. And again, this is all about staying in front of the customer so that they remember who we are. They remember what we're here for, what products and services we offer, and we want to activate their interest in our company. 
Now, as you can see, we could continue to build these out and you can actually get quite complex with these based on timing and, and actions and behaviors that the customer is taking. For the purposes of this example, we're happy with this and we're going to leave it like this. We would save this and then we would activate it and make it go live as you see up in the ribbon. And that would then put this um, customer journey in play and it would start firing off every time a new person's added to the active customer segment, they'd get the welcome aboard email and the process would unfold from there. It would wait for their action. So super handy, really, really great features and functionalities. Again, this was a very high level of example, but in the span of just about five and a half minutes, you've seen us build out a very simple, but very effective customer journey, right? Something that's gonna get our content in front of these people on a regular basis and hopefully steward their interest in our company along the way. If you have any questions about anything you've seen here today or how to build out customer journeys or anything else to do with D365 marketing or any of the other Microsoft uh, 365 or D365 products, by all means, please reach out to C5 Insight. We'd be happy to chat with you. Thanks for watching.